seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. We're at group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with pre atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer red. A job like this in the United Colonies? Ugh, look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benny, if you got paid for a break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Anyway, that's what I was told anyway. 
Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do you see anything? Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Former diplomat, right? You must have said the wrong words to the wrong people to wind up here. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Easy there, High Flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Constellation contact is on approach. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. the explorers group? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Mm -hmm. Not a joke. Mm -hmm. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. Client is here. Let's go. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on.
Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal. Hellhole. Like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing. Or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? And Vasco, don't let him break my ship.
I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Shields ready. The rest is up to you.
continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates.
Alpha Centauri system.
will be in the library. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. It honestly could have been. You expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Katri? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, 
Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Those are the rules. Advance humanity's knowledge to the best of your ability. As long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. Now, let's you and I get over to Mast. I am at your service, Captain. Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. The soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Faces passing through here. He ain't been around. 
went off on patrol, hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. And he's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Get your point. Maybe. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. We have the tech to instantly jump across the universe. We think someone Cursed. 
star yard, still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. crew accounted for. We are ready to depart. Two steps in and everyone... Okay. It's not Vanguard. It's not Vanguard, Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this might be the last encounter for the spacer.
God's sake. Drop some of that rubbish already. Better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them.
Let's get this crate into... Space. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. Think enough of them finally got fed up and they pooled their money to hire professionals. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge.
crew position. Captain. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's This is all exciting, but is there anything new showing? There's really a lot of pressure no, on this, the same isn't as there? Before. There's a we massive outlet right. as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Want to see what I'm carrying? Goodbye. I hope you are. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. 
So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters of it. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Just don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Show the words another time, then.
policy. Us friendlies have got to watch each other's backs out here. Safe travels, stranger.
We should keep in mind that the owner of this factory might not appreciate trespassing. Initiating combat! Stay up late reading under the covers? Did you learn anything new from your book last night? <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad at me. Hydrogen? Hydrogen. It's all here. Come any closer. Identify yourself. You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. You've got something for me? Bye for now.
is worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> ...risk. We both seem to be... ...unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... ...the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... ...Varun Zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? I would not expect you to. I have simply asked. You will do what you feel is necessary, and that will be all right. I will finish here, and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. Painful memories or not, it's good to be home. Much as I'm eager to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? 
embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Exactly! We can't forget what really makes us human. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. Dreams are wonderful, but they don't pay for Helium-3. Constellation's bank account can attest to that. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the room to meet me back on board the station. original vision of the artist, or if they changed the design as they worked on it. A diplomatic Sergeant visa? Sergeant Hume is to looking for reliable it. people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the blackest sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can. But I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. 
Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. when freezing to death, one may experience a warm, cozy feeling. I would prefer not to verify that firsthand.
back to us. Are you alright? We need to get you back to the lobby. I do not spend as much time here as some of the others, but I appreciate that I was still given my own Grixis room. bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. No one in Constellation is going to lose lips on this. What could we say? Even we agree we do not fully understand what is going on. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory. 
There might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. Everyone saw that, right? Like a little... And also... Got no old sh... Show the word. It's another time, then. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have a... anything you need to offload trade authorities always buy he has right here for you and he's our new captain my crew can take a look at your ship and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. the trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth it's just off to the side near the ramp besides that jemison mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for I would try to view. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Hey, I'm trying to break in my concentration. Gotta be honest, I'm an eco surprise every time this ship takes a Hey! Hey, you! You have a minute? I need to talk to you. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the, uh, frontier. I knew it! Tommy Bitlow, SSNN Research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack? It's true, right? You saw some real action? Oh, I I'm so sorry, but I you're the first source I've ever met. This is great! Great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you! An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it, for credible newsworthy information. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it! Anything I can help you with? Like their owners, Ford Decker. Raising their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. Here, I have something for you. Yes, well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Yes? I am always willing to carry an extra weapon.
I gave up my room in the lodge so Andresia had a place to call her own. Everyone needs space to let their thoughts run solo. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Const- Got one. I'd go into the astronomical charting data with you, but clear as day just to point you right to it.
like a chance to talk to you. You are able. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? I can imagine. Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? It is hard to argue, but the implications... I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? That was not my intent. I only meant to suggest that I am concerned about your well-being. Please, do not worry. I am sure everything will be... You know, fine. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired... Clearly, they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. This Any is adventure United you can Colony fly away space. from. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Sorry, was doing the tally's work in my head. Inventory on the station, next supply run. <sighs> Still need to lift them. Found one. Easy as a needle in the stack. Hope those powers you're getting to overinflate you. Got enough egos in Constellation.
find the interior of this ship comforting. It seemed that the work here has come to an end. 
Well, you're back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I do not know Barrett as well as some, but he seems quite confident in his abilities. And not without cause. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them, I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
take out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the band will go through instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? We're gonna tell Vin how oily it is. So, you actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. It is good to be back in our own ship. Some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Uh, you see, I laugh, but I'm on a lot of meds. Kinda just mellows everything. You and your jokes. Now is hardly the time. Look at him. Man. 
I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these early whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <clears throat> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Surviving being attacked, causing trouble. Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts.
going off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention?
orbital pattern locks in. Glad to be back. It will be good to have a moment to relax. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? Help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. Marvelous. Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. 
He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. If you think you might be able to help out, you could talk to the Marshal. Truth is, last I heard, things weren't going so good. Uh, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Gal Bank vault. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, but not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to. Whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey! You in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator. There's nothing we so can do. Don't shoot. Stands where I can see him. And don't try the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Oh, I'm so ready to get out of here. Yeah, I'm already sick to death of this place. <laughs> when this is over, I'm never setting foot in a bank again. Okay, I can see you're not just the Marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it?
Oh hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Damn it! I didn't think of it that way. I know, I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. What's the word? Fools of us all. Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives are on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get some lives. And you're breathing? Back to normal yet? Mostly. Still feels a little weird, though. Just let me drink. You got some business with me? Oh. Well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into, I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But do I think we make the Free Star Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? Look, you have to be completely sure about this, so take whatever time you need. Just come and find me if you decide you want to join. Well, hey there.
He was sitting. It was like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, a uh, code tradition. All right, shall we? My family was on the... That's The Rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. Yeah? Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those men. Full stop. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Not liking your attitude. They're not yours in the first place. Can't disagree that Solomon was an explorer. I'll admit. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key. All 
right. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Me too. But there's no help in it. We're gonna have to get through them and the local wildlife to get to that cave.
I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Saying I should cut my losses. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. It's the Ashta. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand.
Guess I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost. or signal coming from. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Vasco, quick! Those things Top three one-liner moments. Yes, Barrett. It's Number amazing. three. Your retort to the Crimson Fleet to Raiders on Leonis 3. Will give us some yes, classic. I hear that. Number two. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around the dark. And the I think Cora and I can use some downtime. But you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it Number tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. That was a good one. But I'm not sure it's the top. Why not? What do you think, Cara? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. This is not gonna go well. Nothing ever goes well on Neon. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Put the smell again back into the hearts. This is Free Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of castle mass. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. There's nothing in those settled systems quite like me on it. Crazy, terrible, but never dull me on.
There should be a sign dump you a roller here. I think a fortune is putting that nut on James Moore better watch his back. Neon. Some people love it. I spent too much time trying to stop bad guys here. That place just gives me a headache. Benjamin Bayou is so not compensating for anything. He don't mean he has to lounge. I mean, fashion time. Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Strout, you are so... Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. People joke, say those Varun Zealots bullshit.
plenty of aurora on hand for your enjoyment. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. I'm afraid Neon Security. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but... You do have a point. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. How unfortunate. Enjoy the lounge. Run to spacers. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Siegert himself. 
That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagirt makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep Crate 1. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. You know, Sticks, crime in the city gets worse by the day. Vandals, thieves. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're... taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a hope or a tiger, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time, but I never stop thinking of Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you.
Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. Standard operating procedure for business on Neon. Cloak and Dagger's par for the course. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. See, I'm busy drinking. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Pardon. I just saw our seller walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Got a call someone's power kept going out? So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me. 
instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... Fine. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'm listening. Really? Huh. That might change things. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending on men into the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better get off the planet quickly. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. straight to lock up. Not for gangs. Actually, the gang should look out for us. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. Oh, there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Wait, this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Yes, Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two... One. Slayton 
Private office. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. It's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Is 
You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can... There he is. Let's have a word. Remember... You're representing all of us out there. It's moments like this that real you steal. You have what? Although I do admit, heaven. how are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain, provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and yeah, the thief okay. responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. That's the price of doing business. If you're a thief, that is. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I believe Mr. Slayton asked you to do something. You've got one chance to back off. Now. <laughs> I don't have time for you. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. You just won the lottery, pal. Don't waste it. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Ouch.
Clover over at Kelp Corp. She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Life suits both of us, don't you think? For neon standards, that went better than we had any right to expect. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal rate. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Get through this. I have something I need to discuss with you. Uh, when the time's right?
here's the clue. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Lord. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with the parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent, worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. Getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Sure, I've got a minute.
How much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only? So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... I don't know. Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it, that's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? I believe that might be the most honest thing you've ever said. <laughs> well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. You need something? I'll carry anything you need. Well, within reason. Thank <laughs> you. 
anything you can't do? I like it, but I gotta admit, New Atlantis is classy. Smell that? I would bottle that up if I could. Must see old books, a bit of motor oil, history. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? <laughs> Don't do this. We're making history here. We'll deal with the Starborn. Together. Chasing mysteries like this is worth it. It's what we're all about. Don't lose sight of it. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. 
hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Yeah, and I have. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Help me install these parts. I think we are done. Thank you. Just gonna do some more spot building. Setting up some software. Test the computer over there. Now that is so fine. Lend a hand. Grab a couple of wrenches and let's tighten this equipment down. Well, I'm certain that wasn't supposed to happen. You call it the wrong wires. Station showing red. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the sorts, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. You've got something for me? Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn. Rival Collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow. Runs it like a palace of novelties. And he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of bones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sam with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there. Late at night in dive bars, sometimes the old timers share stories about things they've seen that they just couldn't explain. Ghost stories, if you will. I've heard of things like the Starbone before. But they're real. Honest to God, real. Nobody believed those old buggers. So the obvious question is what the hell are they? Everyone's gonna be thinking aliens, but maybe not. Their ships were incredible. 
but they still felt like ships. They had engines, weapons, I think I even made out a grav drive. If they were really alien, I would just expect it to be more... alien, you know? I mean, it could be some secret Freestar Varun or UC tech, but I don't know. Exactly. I'm gonna throw out another wild stab in the dark theory. Maybe they're from outside our known systems. Here's the hypothetical. Centuries ago, some brainiac scientists decide to play settler, but they go way, way beyond any place we've ever been to set up stakes. Once they get there, they make a few lucky breakthroughs, and their science just snowballs from there. I can see them getting further, faster, and hence, become the Starborn. How non-committal of you. One way or the other, we are not alone. And that's... <laughs> that's both exciting and terrifying. Lord's Green, ready for what comes next. Nice to see you. Anything I can do for you? We will need to check all the repairs on this station, from top to bottom, as they say. Vladimir and I will confirm everything is functioning properly. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating?
Not one step further. Awfully insistent, aren't you? Hmm. Would be nice not to get shot today. You think I'm a pushover? I see. Fair point. <laughs> Hell of an entrance, you know that? All right, everyone, stand down. Whew. I thought that was going in a far nastier direction. Good job. You didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> yes, that was what all the shooting was all about. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. The artifact? Ah, you must mean my latest curio. I have never seen anything like it. Intricate pattern details, a metal that feels soft to the touch, yet bears not one hint of wear or tear. Ah, you are out of luck, my new friend. I cannot part with it. I know, it's a fickle man who falls in love so easily. But what can I say? Mi amore. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. I suppose it would be quite unfriendly to turn down a comrade in arms. No. No, some things need to be just for me. Really? How flattering. Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? I know. Talk to Petrov. People look at me and say, Petrov, your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, there are thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is aimed. But that is the price of security, huh? Que sera? Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a Demo Celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally... You know, people say he's mad, but I like Petrov. Runs a good ship. Vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs.
The moment itself! Ah, beautiful. The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing. Devoid of any such enlightenment. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off! I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. Hey, we're not pirates. Except, well, when we really need something for really, really good reasons. Yeah, that does sound a little piratey, doesn't it? Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love for my collection and my crew of hired cutthroats is enough to stop you. Go ahead. Make a move for the artifact. Let's see what happens. I don't see any moves we got left here. Everyone, let the nice pirate pass.
Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starborn, came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left. Said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Sarah, she's she's still breathing, but oh god, all that blood! Hello, constellation. Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! He's right. We need to bunker down here and get those artifacts ready to move. Might need every gun to hold that Starborn off. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Can't blame you, but... Sure could use your help when that Starborn comes knocking. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking. Everyone take cover. Now. Where? You really expect them to barge through the front door? Not expecting them to ring the bell. You leaving? Gotta barricade the door once you're out. I'll be able to let you back in. Don't know how many of us it's gonna take to keep whoever this hunter is at bay. Otherwise, I'd be at that door with you. You too. Okay, I admit, 
<clears throat> My famous personality wasn't so much help with this one. I'll be fine. I just uh, need to lie down for a bit longer. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. Oh, thank heavens. You're all right. No time to waste. Let's get going. You're... alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. to see your back in one piece. Sam. Sam, can you hear me? You have to keep your eyes it's open. Sarah. There's nothing you can do now. He's not going to make it. Sam. Cora will be fine. Okay, Sam. We won't let anything happen to her. to only be seriously damaged instead of critically damaged. Fortunate that you are likewise relatively undamaged is also preferable to the alternative. It went <clears throat> quickly after you left. We held him off while Noel escaped through the basement. There's a door that leads to the well district. Took you long enough. Noel, she might still be in danger. There's a secret door in the basement, leads right to the well district. That would have been the safest route for her to run.
back. I'll... Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. I still have the artifacts, but where do we take them? Oh, there you are. I wasn't expecting you to run to the eye. You! You're not getting the artifacts. Yes. Let's see if they can slip from my grasp this time, shall we?
You're back. Thank the Blackest Sea that you and Noel are safe. And the artifacts? The lodge. So, we slip from the Starborn's grasp, but not before taking a stab straight in the heart. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the Eye are not secure. Years in the making to modify the station. Take time to fix the damage, but more is the worse if we abandon her and try to start over. Just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter, he, um... He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area. Just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess we'll meet back at the lodge after. It's done. Let's head home. I will be monitoring everyone's vitals. If I may, 
I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? There's no harm in gathering more information. A visit to the Sanctum might actually be quite enlightening. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Forget it. Starborn have shown up. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Raw energy? I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh. Yeah. 
how humanity comes together, uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But, what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code? A way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave. Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Because I wasn't looking to find unity in the same sense you are. A fresh set of eyes might reveal the truth. The Enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions.
If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? We don't mean to be intrusive. Any information you could provide would be very useful. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. I have something I need to discuss. Scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. Perhaps you should hear us out before you decide to cast judgment. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Anything you could tell us would be tremendously helpful. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan. 
the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Then we are done. Leave me. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Can you imagine all the changes it's seen? You're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories? Like we thought? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum, at 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the Pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. So you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? Ancient humans thought the concept of gravity was miraculous. Until we know more about the unity, we also could be jumping to the wrong conclusions. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. 
I have something I need to discuss with you. Whoever lived at this home.
Hey, Welcome back. It's always a good day when you come around.
Echo when you're ready to launch. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. <laughs> I don't think your patient counselor act is working on them. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You. Me. The Emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. 
we have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. So, uh, I gotta say, this part is more awkward than I thought. Hiding my face was way easier. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who ran to the eye. I left you behind to protect the artifacts. And the hunter killed you. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts. And they opened the way to the center of my universe. And the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds. Including yours. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary. And open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done. Countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the Unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Don't you understand what we're talking about? There's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse. One is right over there. Besides, why fight me again when you don't have to? I want a truce. Between all three of us. I will give you some time to think over which approach to the Unity is the one you want. Mine. Or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. I know we're not the same people. The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Still. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. I'll tell you everything I can. 
It is not an easy experience to describe. But the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself here to open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. How have you been?
I wonder why this place was abandoned and so placed. There's something I need to talk to you about. What can I help you with? to take this opportunity to thank you. The fact that you risked your life to save me, I... I don't know what to say. Well, yes, of course. But that's beside the point. My only wish is that my rescue hadn't come at the expense of Sam's life. He was one of my closest colleagues. And a cherished friend. Oh, poor Cora. I'm sure the poor thing is devastated. She's lost a wonderful father. <laughs> I really wish I could believe that. Our charter at Constellation has always been to analyze the unknown, but rarely at the expense of our members' lives. Yet all the while, I've been cavalier about taking risks and pushing the boundaries, not appreciating the true cost of my actions. Had I not pushed so hard to pursue the Starborn, perhaps none of this would have happened at all and Sam would still be alive. No, she wouldn't. But was it worth the cost? Damn it! Why is this happening to us? We're explorers. Our curiosity pushes us to seek answers to life's mysteries. It's one of the core traits of humankind. 
Yet in return, this is what the universe throws at us. Beings from God knows where who are trying to murder us. Why? What have we done wrong? I understand why you're saying that, but I can't just turn my back on the universe like that. It's not who I am. The question is, where do we go from here? Do we stop exploring? Stop pushing the boundaries? Take a more aggressive posture towards the universe? I don't know where to begin. Agreed. I just hope it's enough caution that we don't leave ourselves open to another attack. Well, I suppose that's all I had on my mind for now. Oh, it was a relief to get all of that out in the open. I'm sorry I got so angry. But I assure you, it's nothing personal. You're the only one I feel comfortable talking with about these things. Good, because I expect this won't be the last time I intend to cry on your shoulder or scream in your face. Well, we have a long road ahead of us. I suppose it's high time we get back to work. Yes? Want to see what I'm carrying? Glad to see you're back in one piece. Unless I'm mistaken, that's one of the launch towers used during the evacuation of the Earth. I can't even imagine the chaos. The most likely way into the NASA facility would be via an elevator shaft taking us straight down. 
Hopefully the system is still in operation. I hope the occupants of this colony ship found alternate transportation to evacuate the Earth before it was too late. after this.
junk. Project Log, Dr. Victor Isa. Project Log, Dr. Judith Petzian. I watched the Gravjet test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. If there's a way to access so the deeper sections of the storage area, I'm Now everyone wants all it. the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives. Expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also... Overwhelming and worrying. It could take years, decades, before we know what all these side effects of operating a crab drive can be. But no one wants to heal them right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains.
like to speak to you. Understand now why I asked you to come here. The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War. Disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave the Dereza the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That is why we watch over them. The only thing you are watching out for is yourself. differences, but you do not want to give us a common enemy. For once, he is right. Don't do this. We can collect the final pieces together. Well, look at that. The emissary just became my new best friend. You've made your choice. When you're ready, the Hunter and I will be at the Buried Temple. That's where we'll settle things. Meaning, we'll kill you. But hey, at least we'll wait. The final round doesn't start until there's only one artifact left to gather. And if I'm not mistaken, Constellation has one or two to go.
Hey. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. We should have a talk, when you have the time. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together. To say goodbye. You know. To Sam. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. That's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the Hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. This is a lot to take in. Take some time to process, everyone. We finally have some answers. Now we need to figure out what to do with them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but... I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Catch a smile out there.
When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you.
I mean, the Mantis is a fairy tale. Someone to keep pirates from going off the deep end. I... I guess that's possible. She never talked about where she got her fortune. And man, she could handle herself anywhere. It's... a, a lot to take in. anything useful.
Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like raw energy was coursing through your veins? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. <laughs> now that you mention it, you're probably right. Either way, we logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. Honestly, it wasn't so much what Aja and I discovered in our travels. It was the journey that was memorable. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protégé and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I... miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go. We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course.
Safety, we probably shouldn't stray too far from our ship.
off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Oh, no. 
now one lockdown. Senior staff, protocol, Delta. Who's out? There. Be right with you. Ethan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. We'll take the back way up. storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh, each and I was meant to go all my days of What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I wouldn't have made it much longer. It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water. But I made it. I... Wait, how did you get in here? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But... he's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... the accident. Maybe... maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. We were studying a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. An artifact? You mean... the metallic ob... Disappear! We should! Wait, he's back! Alright, we're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it.
Maya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? No, we don't. Enlighten us. Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael. Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Gas fire. Gas fire. The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. We're not sure. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did, or died trying. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion, this artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. What do you think we haven't tried? The kill switch on the control unit isn't responding. The explosion must have damaged the failsafe. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab, so clearly his elevator works. Take it, and you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? you what happened you disappeared and the ceiling caved in and and uh, i thought i'd finally lost it what how look if you think things are bad up here the research level is even worse i barely made it out and that was months ago i don't understand any of this 
If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. I'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. Sure. I was in the lab. I heard the tape. I jumped back in, but I was trapped. If I had gone the other way, I don't know. You, you realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Uh... Easy! We are just talking, right? Maybe so. Alright. Yeah. It's never been field tested. But... Or yours. Ah, uh, yes, Kataxi. The original survey team ran across them.
God, did you get lost in the hallway? Ugh. All right, this is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabytes. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. Mm -hmm. But what in the world? It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Ooh. Step into the distortion, please. Are you all right? So the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right? If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. Try not to get lost in the hallway again. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the experiment, that tension will resolve. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe at least. The question is, which will you choose? Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe. It's not an easy decision, but I am grateful. Thank you. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan? Unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day.
Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. This is not a public medical facility, but the director has ordered me to assist you nonetheless. I can spare a few med packs. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. If there's anything else you need, ask. I think I still have a few... Quarters? Who do you think you are? The direct. Wait. Wait. What is this? This entry. It's mine, but. I didn't write this. And the scorch marks. God. Yes. Yes, I do. I can spare a few more supplies. And I'll give you a break on anything else you need. Lockdown is active. A 
Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals. Lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals.
available on designated security terminals. Welcome back. Ethan, how are we doing? Research levels back online. Definitely some damage, but it could be a lot worse. We will have to replace a few robots. Yes, well, that's a small price to pay, all things considered. This is a lot to take in. Artifacts, multiple universes. Look on the bright side, dear. Just imagine the papers you'll publish. If anyone even believes this. I am curious, though. Why did you decide to stay here, with us? Of course, I'll make sure the Consortium remembers his sacrifice. Our next supply ship will be arriving soon. I'll have a full report ready for them. For now, I'd like to extend our gratitude and what compensation I can offer for everything we put you through. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience.
chance to pick a side. Now go walking back from your lone wolf strategy now. A fight in the heavens themselves. What more could we ask for?
for taking time to... I received a message. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. 
Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. It's more than credits that the unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the Juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. this ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? We meet minds there. Never tell you the cost, do they? Well, ghost from the other side. I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend.
here we are, ready to kill each other for the artifacts, as always. I'm sorry it's come to this. More talking? I'm a little disappointed. No. Wait. I want to hear this. Fine. <laughs> I'll live and let live. Is that right? That certainly does sound different. Well, I don't know about either of you, but... It's been a while since I felt this old. Perhaps it's time to put this all to an end. Uh, at least this once. Here, take the artifacts before I come to my senses. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn are sure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. I know that, and believe me, I feel it. The destiny of it all. But after that, what happens? Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. I really turned you into a true believer, didn't I? Oh, what have I done? Ah, all right. Let's get back to it. One more jump into the unknown. There's something I need to talk to you about.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make?
manufacturer. Please maintain course while we scan you. Assuming scans even work on whatever it is you're flying. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Sergeant Eubanks is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear him out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if he's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. So... That's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth, or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. And if what you've told us about the Starborn is to be believed, we'll need all the help we can get. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. 
You track down the artifacts the Eye finds, while we gather the others. If anyone in the Settled Systems could believe something like this, it's Constellation. Now let's get out there and see the truth for ourselves. Well, it is customary to say, welcome home. That is not dimensionally accurate in this case. Given the trace physiological and neurological readings I'm able to pick up from you are unprecedented. You really are something. 